What's up, YouTube? Jeff the Style OG. And today's video is all about how those jeans should fit. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Frank Reyes, salute. Now, jeans are a classic American staple for many reasons. I'm talking about durability, versatility. To me, they're kind of like a blank slate because you can style them with almost anything. But the problem is, it's kind of easy to get the fit wrong. But don't worry, I got four areas for you to pay attention to that'll make sure your next pair are that perfect pair. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first area we need to talk about to make sure those jeans fit right, the waist area. Now, fellas, just like all pants I've talked to you about, your jeans should fit precisely enough that you really don't need a belt. Where should they ride on your waist? I'm going to suggest they sit somewhere between your upper and mid hip bone area as shown in this picture. Now, talking about how tight they should be, they should fit close enough that your lady can see the outline of your rear end, but not so tight that she can share your jeans. But on the other hand, they shouldn't be so loose that it look like you're carrying a diaper load in your back pocket. Now the second area I need you to pay attention to, to make sure those jeans fit, is one us guys often overlook. That's the rise. Now the rise is the measurement between your crotch and the top of your waistband. The reason why this is important is because the rise can affect how long your torso looks in comparison to your legs. So for that reason, my fellas with the shorter legs or shorter guys, I suggest you go with a higher rise. A higher rise tends to elongate the look of your legs. For my fellas with a couple extra pounds, I would suggest you go with a lower rise to accommodate that extra weight you may have. For everybody else, ask the salesperson or be on the lookout for a medium rise. Now the third area you need to pay attention to to make sure those jeans fit just right, the length. Now just like with any pair of pants, getting the length right depends on getting the right break in your pants. Now the break is the crease that's created where your pants meet the top of your shoes. For jeans, I suggest you get what's called a half break. That's shown in these pictures right here. Now I know a lot of fellas out there these days like to get their pants stacked where they bunch on the top of your shoes. And I'll admit sometimes this looks a little fly, but I wanna caution you. For those of us that are shorter or with shorter legs, this can make your legs look shorter. So proceed with caution with that stacking. Now the last area to pay attention to, to make sure those jeans fit, the leg area. Now the leg area is usually what they use to determine what they label the jeans fit. Let's see, we've got straight fit, slim fit, slim straight fit, relaxed fit, skinny fit. Trust me, I get the confusion. And on top of that, the slim fit, straight fit, relaxed fit vary from brand to brand. So to cut through all that confusion, I got an easy foolproof way. Get in the store, try the jeans on. Pinch a little bit of fabric in the thigh area. If you can come up between one and two inches between your fingers, you got it right. Anything more than that, the jeans are too loose. Anything less than that, they're too tight. Now for a little bonus tip, if you're only gonna have one pair of jeans and you can't decide which wash to get, whether a dark wash, medium wash, or real light wash, start off with a dark wash. A dark wash is your most versatile and it's the easiest to dress up or dress down. Okay, so now you know exactly how those jeans should fit. You guys let me know in the comments what style and brand of jeans you like to rock on a daily. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, do me a favor, hit that like button. And to my subscribers who say they haven't been getting every video, make sure you hit that notification bell. YouTube doesn't always send you all the videos. As always, I'm here every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll meet you here.